What's going on, Clutch? What? What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Duck. It's your boy, Ross. And we in the Clutch, baby. Hey. Back to you, ladies and gentlemen, with another video today. You feel me? All right, so we're going to check out how OnlyFans ruined an entire generation. Just off the title alone, I that statement, it, it, it definitely rings some truth, bro. Soon as OnlyFans became a thing, it it's it's now a, a a thing for like a lot of women and even guys now like that's like a, a oh, goal yeah. a success story it's like a go-to yeah it's like a go-to and you know it's just one of those type of things where i i never thought i would be in a time period where you check uh, a a chick's page you meet somebody you check a you know check an instagram as soon as you see that link tree your heart drops damn because what's in that link tree <laughs> what's in there what are, what are you linking yeah. <laughs> and it ain't it ain't just sometimes it's the business stuff but then you you all you got to do is just scroll down you see some type of only fans or some mm -hmm. type of subscription to start off with they like makeup or they lip gloss yeah yeah, they, yeah. You know, the and, real the real action is at the bottom yep yep Maybe. so uh we're gonna check this out by cameron uh he actually makes some pretty dope content uh just like you know talking about different youtubers and and putting things in perspective so i've seen a few of his videos off camera he definitely makes some dope content so y'all go subscribe to him we're gonna link down the original video down below so y'all can show him some love and support man so let's all right. go somebody said this been on the road page hey this ross out there man no, <laughs> I think this this one needed to be we need to push this out there to the masses you know what i'm saying that's the only reason why i was like this shit deserves to be on the main this has completely ruined an entire generation dog when i tell you nuclear bombs couldn't even do nearly as much damage as what only fans did to our wow. society I knew OnlyFans was getting bad when i seen people not even giving life a shot at the age of 18 and going not even giving life a shot that is very very wild and your pausing ability is wild too oh shit yeah. that's wild oh i did not bro the time <laughs> pause right before Come on, bro. what the fuck what kind of shit is this bro that's crazy ross toxic i bro that was an accident i paused literally one second before <clears throat> man's got the quick finger he do <laughs> but it's but the thing is people they like that like bro they soon as someone turned 18 we seen it with the cash me outside girl when pete once she turned 18 it was crazy her Damn. only fans went insane because people were waiting for it people need to be locked up Fucking sick, bro. Straight to up. OnlyFans once the clock hit 12. If you thought that Reddit, TikTok, 4chan, and Twitter did damage, just wait till you hear all the damage that OnlyFans oh, has done. About. Video. Now, for mm -hmm. the first damage nah, that I think somebody... OnlyFans has done to what? society. What they was talking about? Should I say it, bro? What was they talking about? Somebody was saying something about a forehead, but I didn't know it was. Oh, about, uh, yeah. The... He knows. <laughs> he mentioned it in his videos. No, nah, but I'm saying like somebody, I just didn't know what they was talking about. I, I didn't see. <laughs> yeah, he knows, man. He, he, I didn't notice the game. He, he embraces it, man. There ain't much you can do. <laughs> ID is that it's normalized a lot of weird behavior. We live in a time where people get their back blown out in front of a camera for thousands of people to see, but it's somehow okay because they make a lot of money. That yeah. is not normal, and that is not something that we should normalize slash celebrate. Look, I understand that these OnlyFans girls be having Lambos, numerous penthouses, a few rollies, and more money than I could ever imagine, but at the same time, they also have zero dignity if they can proudly brag about how their cheeks are getting clapped online for $4.99 a month. Why are we flexing our cheeks getting obliterated online? I just don't think that's... That, that is just weird to me. Another thing about OnlyFans is that it completely normalized adult films, aka porn. Yeah. Like I swear, back then, being an adult film star used to be one of the most frowned upon jobs ever. But OnlyFans has made it completely acceptable. Like, if somebody told you that they did OnlyFans, you genuinely wouldn't be surprised nowadays. No. But back then, that would have been one of the most shocking things to ever hear. Another weird behavior behavior that only fans has kind like, of realized huh? is spawn what? camping young women until they turn 18. <laughs> For example, I remember when Danielle Bernoldi yep. started only fans one week after she turned 18 and she made a million dollars within
within just six hours of it releasing, all of that them means that there were some grown up. adults out there. That f- yeah, bro. All of them need to be locked up. Yeah, nah, that's that's wild. Bro. That, Found that's Danielle Bergoli attractive yeah. as a young girl, but they wouldn't necessarily say that. So they chose their next best option, which was to wait for this young girl to turn 18. Now they can see her naked legally. Like the concept of that being legal is just absolutely strange to me. And whoever bought that OnlyFans once she turned 18 needs to be locked up ASAP no Rocky. Like I just find that insane because there's no way that the demographic of these people buying Danielle Bergoli's OnlyFans were like maybe 18, 19, 20, 20. 21, they had to be like 40 year olds, 50 year olds <laughs> maybe even some 30 year olds in there and we know damn well it's that the, a lot of these all dudes got the same that look. bought this only fans didn't just randomly stumble across danielle bergoldi the day that she turned 18 oh. these dudes most definitely found her attractive as a young girl and they just spawn camped their way until she made this <laughs> oh, only fans <laughs> now they can see her naked legally and go ham on the meat like that's crazy <laughs> hey, to me. that is absolutely insane there's also numerous hey. tiktok girls out there who have also yeah, made only fans once they turned 18 and they made bands because these weirdos also that, like it's one of the weirdest things ever and this shouldn't be something that's like normal you know and as i speak there's probably some 16 year old tiktok girl out there that plans to make an only fans once she turns 18 and there's probably tons of creepy old men waiting for that day to happen mm-hmm. which it's disgusting to even think about if i'm being real i think the age of only fans should be at least 21 but obviously that never changed because right now the age to sell well, adult it. content is 18 years old wow. and for only fans to change their age the whole law would have to change change as a whole and that's never going to change and since we're talking about weird they behavior too much from money. only fans there's mm-hmm. a lot of lies that goes on with just the business itself like there's a lot of grown women on there lying about being 18 and 19 years old to sell more subscriptions which wow. is just absolutely insane even though those are legal ages i still think it's weird to lie about your age to sell more subs for example do y'all remember that one npc tiktok girl <laughs> pinky doll mm, ice cream so good mm, ice cream so good yeah. <laughs> So she actually used to lie and say that she was 19 years old to sell more sub. I think it's 19. Now she's now she's transitioned to like eating a whole bunch of food, like a large amounts of food in one setting. What is it with that? Like you're just wasting food, bro. Like no, she's eating the food, but it's I'm just, saying it's still a waste because you don't all, one person don't need all that. Facts, bro. It's, on, but people gonna watch it. People gonna pay for it, and you know. Americans. When in reality she was 27, and this actually happens a ton on Twitter. You'll see mad girls talking about they're the hottest 18 year old on OnlyFans. That's whole wild. time they're 47 with six kids. Like it's insane. A girl could legit be 67 years old with the saggiest yiddies of all time, but for some reason she's in every Twitter comment section talking about I'm the hottest 18 year old on OnlyFans. Yeah, you were the hottest girl 51 years ago, Sharon. Hang it up. Like I said, I think it's weird to just straight up lie about your age to sell more subs. Like that's just disgusting. And even the old ass men out there that are buying these girls only fans they're also just as disgusting if not even more disgusting now another reason why i think that only fans completely ruined society is because it made the internet even worse for women now y'all are gonna call me a simp and white knight for this but just hear me out before you run to the comment section talking about my forehead is big just just wait one second just hear me out the reason why i say that only fans made the internet even worse for women is because it made dudes comfortable with telling random girls online that they don't even know to make make only fans accounts if they find them attractive it's the weirdest thing ever like if a girl goes viral and she just happens to be attractive I'm the first thing it. that dudes are gonna say is to make an only fans it's the weirdest thing ever for example do y'all remember the home depot girl for y'all that don't know there's basically this girl yeah. who oh, yeah. on twitter because she was attractive yeah, and she worked at home right? depot and the first thing that dudes <laughs> were telling her to do once they saw her was to oh. make an only fans like peep some of these comments hear me out only fans and you equals rich if you want to make an only fans real niggas wouldn't judge you when of you're telling me that you see an attractive woman online and your first thought is she should make an only fans like i just find that insane and honestly yes. i salute this woman to the fullest because at the end of the day she chose her morals over money she could have made life-changing bands mm-hmm. off of only fans but she just chose to stick with her normal job and just create ig reels and make youtube videos when the whole world was telling her That's to cool. create an only fans mm-hmm. like that is hard to do in a she world where only fans girls Did be she? having lambo somebody said she got fired by the way really Damn, really? Damn, that would suck if that's the case. 
Someone said, nah, she left. Well, hey, we don't know. <laughs> Either way it goes, she ain't working there no more because it was probably a it lot was, of weirdos just right. coming. Uh-huh, probably pulling up, find out where she works. Yeah, I'm at. trying to build this uh this castle. Shit, nigga. Uh, <laughs> you don't even know how to spell build. I need a alone. spark plug. <laughs> so they're working the women shit. have toyota priuses like that is a hard task and this actually happens to a lot of women that create content because if you look at their comment section on like ig reels or maybe tiktok or maybe even like if a girl is doing a youtube q a the first question that a lot of dudes are gonna ask is uh, if that girl is gonna make it only fans like bro it's crazy because if you do have an only fans nowadays people are gonna tell you to find god but if you don't have one people are gonna beg you to make one like it's a lose-lose situation wow. another reason why i think only fans made the internet even worse for women is because it also completely ruined link tree slash just women having links in their bio you like y'all know this. how on instagram people usually will have like a link in their bio and you that link this. will take you to maybe like a youtube twitch or maybe in like a clothing brand well it's gotten to the point where if a woman huh. has a link tree in her bio the first up, assumption bro. that a lot of dudes are gonna make even myself is that that girl probably has an only fans yep. when in reality that girl could just have like a twitch link in that link tree right but since these of girls are running so rampant nowadays and you can see them everywhere every dude is going to automatically assume that any girl with a link in her bio has an only fans like it's sad to say but it's true another reason why i think only fans ruined society is because it gave people this money over morals mm -hmm. mindset if there's one thing that only fans has taught me it's that people are almost always going <laughs> to pick that dollar over their morals on yep. any given day the other day i seen this post by ruby rose that said yo bitch got morals i got millions well, excuse me, Miss Ruby. I never knew that having no morals was a flex. But at the same time, I don't know what I was supposed to expect from somebody that said, sometimes you have to lie about your age when it comes to NFL players. At 16 years old, she had no... Hey, yo. Whoa. 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 Hey. Nope, that ain't what's up. That's scroll past that yep no morals 10 years ago and she still has no morals today it's insane don't get no. me wrong money is a really important thing in life because without money you can't do a majority of things but that money shouldn't matter if you don't have any morals slash if it goes against your morals like not all money is good money yeah that money from only fans might be good but at the same time it comes with a greater cost which is your dignity and future like i swear people don't even care about their digital footprints anymore because bro only fans literally leaves a permanent stain on your life it leaves yeah. a mark on your future family and i'm telling yeah. you once your kids find out that you did only fans um, back in your heyday that's going to be a pretty odd topic to ooh, even yeah. talk about y'all remember when that one blonde only fans girl l brooke was on piers morgan and she was basically saying how her kids are going to cry in a ferrari once they figure out that she did only fans how do you feel when you want to have kids yourself well i mean that's i, I don't really want kids right now but, but you will how old are you 25 right so you will do at some stage probably right Maybe. When you do, are you going to be proud that you have your little so ones and they chin. look at you and go, didn't you want to be a Firm. lawyer, mommy? What happened? Yeah. And you go, but yeah, but look at all my stuff. They can cry in a Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, don't be... <laughs> Bro, his face just... Out of there. He just... No, no helping him, bro. No hope. His facial expression told you everything you need to hear. Just, all right, bro. Okay wrong that ferrari is cool and all it's pretty fast it's and i mean it does look here. nice but once your look kid your gets out that ferrari and walks through those school Ooh, doors it's mm -hmm. over for that man yeah. it takes one kid in that school to find out you yep. did only fans now your son is getting his head dunked <laughs> into a toilet on a wednesday morning before pe class you're telling me that it's okay that you get clapped online pile drive put in a ddt and put in the pile walls of jail, <laughs> all on camera for the world to see but it's somehow fine because you have a ferrari that is absolutely insane. If you thought that bullying was bad now, just Ooh. wait until 20 years from now. These roast sessions are about to get Ooh. brutal. That's why you're ugly and your breath stinks. That's why your mom did OnlyFans. No. If your mom, exactly. there's nothing you can say. You nothing. just probably got to square up. You got to square up at that point. Be a lot of kids <laughs> fighting to go and get it. Yep. Your mom was getting her cheeks clapped. <laughs> and I subscribe. <laughs> you welcome for the lunch money today. Yeah, sucker. you welcome. Nah, niggas, yeah. niggas will definitely go home. And I definitely would have used that. <laughs> I definitely would have used that. Niggas would have went home and got it. <laughs> <'Cause, bro. laughs>
gonna be a lot of that. Did only fans, yeah. fans, you might as well go mute that. because that's the safest option. Like these OnlyFans pictures are never gonna leave the internet. I don't think people realize that. Yeah. And also, just because you retire from OnlyFans, that doesn't mean that the pictures and videos nope. retire as well. For example, do y'all remember the ex adult film star Mia Khalifa? The other day, she was actually on Twitter talking about how the singer Tyla should stay away from these little streamers because Kai Snat and Tyla recently did a stream with each other. And when I tell you, all hell broke loose in the comment section because people just started dropping pictures um, of her getting clapped yep. from like eight years yep. ago, dog. And that's what I mean by these pictures <laughs> never really leave the internet. Did it doesn't move? matter when you retire, these pictures are always going to be there, dog. That scene probably happened ages ago. But since it's online, that picture is now forever. And what's even sadder is that when these OnlyFans girls do try to be serious and turn their lives around, no one ever takes them seriously. Like if an OnlyFans girl tried to transition into different content, like maybe YouTube or like Twitch <laughs> streaming, it wouldn't work because a lot of people are only going to see them as that girl that was getting clapped on camera. I mean, it has <laughs> worked in some instances, but a majority of the time, it's not going to work at all. For example, there was this one OnlyFans girl named Nala who basically stopped doing OnlyFans to pursue Whoa. religion. And when I tell you, nobody took her seriously. Oh, Did damn. she get baptized in semen? Biggest meme of all time. Duh. This is delusion at its finest. Your that entire is... internet presence is you not choosing God. Oh! And honestly, like, oh. even though... Come on, bro. We can't stop somebody from getting saved, man. Josh, nah, they on some. Nah, bro. You beyond nah, saved. Nah, run that back. <laughs> nah, run. You beyond saved. He already, he already has the files in the cloud, baby girl. It's up the again. cloud. <laughs> Damn. Damn. That's cool. But once again, like we've had conversations, bro. That shit, it's on the internet. That's it. Yeah, it's there, Doesn't girl. matter how if you quote unquote delete it or whatever, somebody has the files and it's being shared all over, <laughs> right as you speak. So I don't know, man. Oh, it's messed up. These comments are messed up. I can understand why. Because number one, it happened all of a sudden. And number two, she used to get clapped online. And that was her previous internet presence. Like, she went from worshipping the BBC to worshipping the Bible. Like, that's a pretty drastic change. So it makes sense to why people don't really take her serious. But that just goes to show how much of a stain OnlyFans puts on your life. You can't even convert to religion without people cooking on you and saying that you're doing it for clout or just bringing up your past. Like, it's sad, but at the end of the day like i can't really be mad at these people who are cooking on her you know all that being said only fans has done a lot of damage in today's society and i think that only fans is like the new cigarette of this generation <laughs> hear me out because i actually think this is like a really great analogy at first cigarettes were cool trendy and everyone was doing it because i mean there really was no research backing up why mm -hmm. cigarettes were bad yeah it was smoke going into your lungs but somehow in the 1950s and 60s that was considered healthy but now 60 <laughs> years later we've realized all the negative effects of smoking from all these studies we've done and i think the exact same thing is going to happen with only fans it may seem cool trendy and normal now but 40 years from now people are going to realize how much damage only fans has done to their lives i think these only fans girls could even possibly go that route that a lot of these adult stars are going right now where they're unaliving themselves because of their past mistakes which is actually really Damn. sad to even think mm -hmm. about even though i don't really support girls doing only fans and adult content it is sad to see people unalive themselves for their past mistakes like it's it's really sad and that's yeah. been happening to a lot of adult stars lately but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below all that being said this is going to wrap up the video if you guys made it this far i appreciate you if you guys enjoyed this video then i highly no, this recommend is a double one, man this is definitely a double one y'all <sighs> definitely showing some love uh oh yeah for sure cameron gonna uh drop the original video down below so y'all can go ahead and check it out man yeah yeah no facts man very informative video um feel a lot of the same when it comes to these things like it's it's permanent yeah the internet is always going to be out there once you put it out there it is the web they call it that for a reason um and you just got to be mindful of what you put out there and what you say yeah because it never go away it never yeah. goes away no matter what you try to delete mm -hmm. you know, so one day you got to have kids or family you don't want somebody forever bringing that stuff up imagine yeah. you 50 60 years old Ooh. and somebody got your 20 year old you know you're a grandma now and they didn't you hey i seen that video of you back in the day man you was you was wild yeah nobody want to see grandma getting cheeks clapped in <laughs> 2020 something come on man <laughs>
<laughs> Come on. But that's gonna be a reality that's gonna hit uh some of these OnlyFans girls, and it, it. I don't know how. Hopefully they can they can deal with that. Yeah. It's gonna be a harsh truth when you gotta when your grandchildren over here knowing about that shit. That's yeah, unfortunate. Figure out what kind of lineage you come from. Mm-hmm. But hey, if y'all enjoyed the video, you already know what to do. Make sure you run up the likes, subscribe, let us know what else we can be checking out. If y'all enjoyed it, run up the likes as usual. Keep on spreading love, be in love. We'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace out. Already. Bitches from Houston. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me because I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside, they know they can't handle half of me.